I've been sent this video a few times now and others like it and been asked to show how it works. Look at this. Oh my God. How does the mirror know no. that that's there? <laughs> that's creepy. It shows a person holding some object like a case of gum with a mirror behind it. But in between it is a paper that should completely block the mirror from knowing the gum is even there. But somehow you can see the reflection of the gum in the mirror. So let's go ahead and try this ourselves. Okay, I've got my gum up against the mirror. The dumbest thing about this is I, had, I wanted to get a pack of gum that was similar to the video. This cost $6. Since when does gum cost $6? Okay, here we go. <laughs> so how does the mirror know it's there? And sure enough, it works. So how does the mirror know something's there if the paper's covering it? Well, it seems like a dumb question at first, but let's look at this in more detail. In order to see the object, light from it has to bounce off the mirror into our eyes, or in this case, the camera. Now, if the paper's there, it seems like it should block the mirror from being able to see the object. And actually it does. The paper blocks the mirror that's directly behind the paper, but it doesn't block the mirror that isn't behind the paper. So let's use a laser to show the path that a beam of light takes from the surface of the object to be able to hit the camera. You can see that it's just using the other parts of the mirror that the paper doesn't cover. The bigger the paper, the further away you need to go and the shallower angle you need to view it on the mirror. Or the shallower the object, the shallower angle you need to view it. Until if you're right on the back of the paper, you can't ever see it in the mirror. That's why you can't ever see what's written on the other side of a paper when you hold it up to the mirror. In order to view the writing on the paper, you would need an angle that goes into the mirror. Let me show you this a little bit clearer using LiDAR from my phone. This will create a 3D image of what we're seeing, but it doesn't know there's a mirror here. The LiDAR just sees it as another room. So let's scan this. Now before we look at this, let me tell you about the sponsor for this video, Factor. Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. So if you're too busy doing science this spring or other things, you need to try Factor. Skip the trip to the grocery store and skip the chopping, prepping, and cleaning up too. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes. So all you have to do is heat and enjoy, then get back outside and soak up the warmer weather. Also, if you're looking for calorie conscious options, you can try the delicious dietitian approved calorie smart meals with around 550 calories per serving or less. And also Factor is now owned by HelloFresh and with a wider array of meal plans to choose from, there's something for everyone. I love switching between the brands and now my viewers can enjoy both brands at a discount with me. The meats that are in these meals are as good as if you just prepared them fresh, even after reheating. One of my favorite things about these meals is you can get quick meals instantly with without sacrificing your health. So if you wanna try out Factor, head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code ACTION50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Now let's get back to our experiment. So the gum was too small to be picked up by the LiDAR. So we're gonna have these cabinets represent the gum in front of the mirror. And let's see what it looks like in the inside of the mirror. So this is the real side, not inside the mirror. We can go forward. Spin around here. And then go in the mirror over here. You can see there's no information on what's on the other side here. Notice that I can't ever see the part that's faced away from the mirror. Because in order to capture that, I would have had to gone past the plane of the mirror. So that means that you can never see anything in the mirror that isn't facing it, because you would need an angle that goes into the mirror to see it. So mirrors can be better understood if you just picture them as reflecting beams of light that move in a straight line. And you can show yourself how that beam of light is reaching your eye by just imagining a beam going onto the mirror and reflecting. The coolest thing about this LiDAR image is that it seems like if you went into the mirror, you would enter this new mirror image world, like it's another room to go into. But what's scary about this is let's say that you could enter this world where everything is now a mirror image. What would happen? Well, everything would seem pretty normal, except that words would be written in their mirror image, but then an interesting thing would happen when you try to eat. You could eat things like normal, but you'd keep feeling hungry and you'd never really feel like you're getting enough food. Eventually, your muscles would start deteriorating and you would eventually die in a death similar to starvation. But why? Why is eating mirror image food so bad? 
Well, the answer is because all the proteins in nature have two possible mirror image shapes that they could take. But in nature, they always choose one of those shapes only. The scientific term for this is that biomolecules are chiral. They use only one side of the mirror. If you try to process or use proteins that have the mirror image of another protein, your body doesn't simply recognize them and you can't use them at all. So all proteins would be foreign to your body and you wouldn't be able to make DNA, RNA, or process any proteins at all or any amino acids. In fact, in the 1970 Star Wars novel, Spock Must Die, Spock is accidentally replicated and his mirror image is created and the mirror image Spock must survive by synthesizing mirror image amino acids in the lab. So this is now your official warning, never go into a mirror. And thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab, I hope you enjoyed it. And remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.